the good old Zowies. I remember picking those up as a kid. Uh, they used to have them at the Shell Station all the time. Originally came out in like 1972, so there's a bunch of Wowies that are Wowies. <laughs> wowies for Zowies. A bunch of Zowies that I, uh, that I have. Uh, what are they like? Uh, really, really small scale. Um, at any rate, well, you can see. I'm sure you've seen the Zowies. Anyway, how about my Warner 442s, which originally came out in Demolition Man in uh, 1993. Uh, it was a red car, though. These are the yellow versions, the Warner 442s, because of the uh, Warner Brothers, uh, I guess the copyright. These have the same wheels, but different bases, as you can see. One shiny chrome and one the uh, plastic. Uh, there's a couple of Warner 442s, and then couple different uh, wheel variations on these two too. The dot and the normal black wall. Um, what else have we got going today? I have a bunch of cases that I will go through and uh, you know, I haven't looked at everything for a while so it's good to go through it and see exactly what they have in them. I do have them pretty much organized but uh, you know, sometimes I find some weird stuff in there. Here's a uh, Oldsmobile. I believe this is a 442. Um, one of the later ones, or earlier ones. Uh, kind of a cool car. At any rate, oh, here's another Warner. This is the uh, another 93 Warner that goes with these uh, yellow ones. Like the blue. Well, I guess those wheel variations are cool too. Um, what else do we have here? Let me see. I think we have a bunch of uh, Buick, 70 Buicks, the GSX. Push those back. Well, kind of a cool looking car. Seventy view of GSX, and let's uh, see what else we got in here. I know we have some uh, some Hemi Cudas, seventy one Hemi Cudas. There we go. I like these two. Very cool. And uh, absolutely nothing to do with. Uh, we're talking about here but some London taxis. I actually was just in London not long ago. Took a ride in one of these. Lots of room back here. It was the first time. It's kind of nice. You know the door opens this way and uh, you got you know sit here and then you get all this leg room if you don't have any um, baggage which is cool. Oh right here there we go. Right in there the only problem is pretty expensive. Uh, to drive around in and uh, apparently the most educated taxi drivers in the world. It takes them, I believe, three years to get their license. They have to know the city by the back of their hand, the shortest route to everywhere. And to follow that up, nothing to do with taxis, but hey, how about uh, a little wiener mobile action? Once again, we have wheel variations on these. Um, of course, this is the chrome one, but we have that wheel very it's hard to see the wheels because they're kind of hidden but anyway they're wheel variations of the wiener mobile uh, I got a couple of Johnny Lightning NASCARs these are cool like these are really well built I, I, know, I know not many people are into them but uh, they are really really cool they got the uh, real riders on them and uh, they display very well I like those a lot. Uh, what else do we have here? Picked this up uh, a while ago. It uh, doesn't really fit anywhere, but you know, it's got a uh, rolling thunder. The tampos are excellent. I'm a fan of that. That also has real riders on it. And then we have some. 
stuff from uh, Matchbox. Super fast, super fast era of Matchbox. Um, I have a lot of these displayed, but uh, unfortunately, I kind of run out of room uh, on my shelves, as I mentioned every video. So a lot of these are sort of thrown by the wayside. I have the green one of this up on the wall. And uh, once again, we just got lots of those matchbox super fast. Um, here's a couple more random things. We have the phone company truck, phone truck. That's a Hot Wheels. I'm gonna make some room here. That's a Hot Wheels. And we have the Matchbox Peterbilt tow truck, which is cool, police tow truck. And let's end it off with some teetotalers, shall we? All different. And uh, some of these are hard to get, not the ones I have, but some of the teetotalers are definitely hard to come by. Different bases, obviously based on the uh, brown, the black, the red, and the wine colored teetotalers. Now that's pretty much it for this box of fun. A lot of them are uh, organized a bit better. Uh, the next one I'm going to show is going to be a bunch of Johnny Lightning toppers plus some Porsches and some Mercedes as well. So we'll get to that uh, ASAP.